Hey everybody, it's BZ here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. I uh, just did a little bit of detail work here on the on the Pearl. Uh, I was trying to push the episode out I was working on so long, and you know, I just didn't get it out, take a break from it for a little bit. Uh, I'm just sort of adding a little bit, of, little bit to this mast section here, or whatever this thing is, the nose or Maybe this called a jib. I have no idea. Yeah, I got that. Got the uh, antenna on the end there. Javelin suggested Javelin suggested to do that, so I did that. And uh, Harbinger just commented on the last video about using that to control a ship remotely. Well, I could do that, but we're getting some more guns on here today because I was actually thinking about the the whole man turret idea, and I have redesigned it, and I think I can make it actually work. And basically what the issue was is the ball was sticking to the block that it was connected to and it was actually connected to the grid. So it was basically not doing what I thought it was going to do. Uh, as, far, uh, as far as whether or not it's going to actually be able to go through a single square hole, I have don't even know. Uh, with block damage, I might have to open up that hole up a little bit. So I have actually redesigned that. Uh, let's get, see if we get this set in a better place here. Nope, oh, that's the wrong button. You know, for for recording purposes. Let's get on the other side here so I actually see what I'm doing. Alright. So, so, what it's going to be is going to be sort of the same idea as the other one I, that I did. Actually, if I had I actually built it in the last video. I can't remember. There was an hour and I didn't bother going through my videos when I edit them. I just, just edit it, get it out of the way. But uh, So, it's basically going to be a, a hanging turret almost like a manned gun. I want to make sure I have enough room here, so... Uh, hmm. Start here. Four, five, let's get... I think five should be enough room. It's going to be... The new design is going to be... Probably four deep, so let's go six. Alright, then we'll put a rotor down the bottom here. And, of course, lock it. And then I can set everything afterwards. Uh, okay, and then uh, shift click. It's a good mod to use. It's sometimes difficult to actually get out of it sometimes. So let's go ahead and borrow this color. Oh, that's the wrong button. I do that all the time. Turn my jetpack off instead of going down. All right, so then we'll get the slopes. Ugh. Uh, I'm not going to say it. You guys can all say it in the comments. Get a new mouse. Get a new mouse. Alright, so I know it's going to be the same, it's basically the same idea as far as uh, the whole rotor setup is going to be where I come down like this, two blocks, and go in, and then I get the other one here, and that was on the four, get that out, and lock it. And I've been thinking about the, the rotation, I'll have to set them independently, this one here is probably going to be about 90 and 90 each direction, you know, because... It's not going to hit the ship, so I don't have to really worry about that. I could probably even do that for, from right now. Let's get out of that one and bring this up. And upper limit's going to be... I uh, will go 85 and 85. This yes, because... Oh. Helps if I read. It's going the wrong way. Alright, so... There we go. So that's that one set. And this one... Can't be too much, probably 30 degrees each. So I'll go ahead and set this right now. Uh, lower limit. So we'll go to. I'm going to make it 25. It doesn't really need to be too high. And this one will be 25, of course. Okay. Alright, so now for the rest of it. So it's going to be. The same idea where it's going to be me figuring out which way the blocks go. Of course. I'm sure once I reach a couple thousand hours, I'll get it right. So the idea I had this time was going to be... Uh, yeah, this is the right menu here. Slabs. It's going to be... Wrong slab. 
There, that slab. It's going to be like that. We'll bring another one out. Good. Now, how was I supposed to do this? I'm trying to think now. Oh, yeah, it was all me connected in the back. Uh, cause we're going to have a full block here. No, actually, no, we're not. We're going to have a... Yeah. There's going to be a merge block used in this setup. And I'm putting that there, so we're going to actually put these angles here. So that's basically going to be the barrel. Oh, I gotta bring this down a little bit. One more block. Uh, let me get this set up and I'll bring you back. Okay, so there's the barrel. So as you can see, there's gonna be plenty of room for the ball to come out. Now what's gonna happen is the projector is actually gonna project a merge block right in here. And I'm gonna have to rig up a welder in this block. Yeah, in this block facing this merge block to weld the, the merge block and space ball. And on the other side, there's going to have to be a, a grinder. And it's the only way we're going to be able to do this. So, weld and then grind. Weld and then grind. So, it's going to be uh, one, one, one round a second. But that's fine because we have complete and utter control on this one. Alright, so, yeah. So, i got to move those down. That's going to go there. Uh, if I start taking stuff apart, then it's going to fall apart. Not sure what I can do because these aren't connected. Uh, let's do that for now and that for now. A little bit of duct tape. I should do it gray just for just to be funny. All right, so I have to have a block here and a block here. Get rid of that and that. Now I've got our welder. As soon as I can find them. Welder and grinder. Now, I hope the grinder only does one block. That would suck if we took everything out. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Two grinders is not going to give me any results. And neither will that. Okay, like so. All right, then we gotta put a merge block here. Actually, I guess I don't even need the merge block now. Because it'll connect right to this block here. That saves room. Okay, that helps. The last thing I need is more functional blocks on this thing. All right, now how much room do I have here? Yeah. yeah, I could put the projector and the gyroscope on the back here. That could work. Alright, projector and gyroscope. Alright, so... Put the gyroscope on top. Now it's easier to line up the projector. And I will have to make a, a new round. And hopefully this will work. So now for the, the gravity. Now, I was thinking about this. Oh, you know, we can't have the projector there. Because I do want to have it there because I do want to have uh, the, the, thing, the thing that makes you go up or down with electricity. Okay, so are these connected? No, they are not. Well, they will be in a second here. Uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember now what I was going to do. I was going to put the, gravi the gravity generators down the side here. In the corners. Oh. Where was the top? Actually, what's the top? No, in the sides, anyways. Uh, yeah, what's in the corners? It's going to be there and there and... Probably there. 
That might be overkill. Oh yeah, that's right. That's my duct tape. Alright, and then there, and there, and I mean here, I mean there. So that'll give us the same we had, 13 before, and same on the other side. So let me get these set up, and I'll bring you back. Okay, it's all set up. Well, it's all built anyways. Uh, we should have enough room, we shouldn't have to worry about hitting the ship. Alright, so the next thing we got to do is we have to build around, which should be simple, and basically set up the rotors. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that right now. We're going to go ahead in here and grab a handy dandy space ball. And I'll place that down just so I can actually... Oh. I guess I should turn that off. That might help. I was testing the gravity. And so we go all the way back up here and... Still have waste my time to do that and turn that off. Thank you. Now where'd that ball go? There you are. Okay, where are you? Stop. Okay. Don't move. Do that. Now this one isn't gonna move. Not unless it's front of a cannon in front of the cannon that's on. And there you are. Alright. Uh, oh, no, no. Exactly 20 tons. Has to be. And a block. Just like so. Alright, so I go ahead and blueprint that. And we will save that as... Uh, buckshot. Even though it's not even technically buckshot, but whatever. Should be calling it a deer slug if anything. Alright. So, projectors lined up. All we gotta do is put a flight seat on here. Uh, probably should put a camera. I don't know if I wanna put it there. I don't know how the view would be sitting on that. Actually, what I do actually is go ahead and put a slope on here. This will be our site. Aim the thing from the, the, the seat because it's going to be way back here. Uh, yeah. Go with a nice flight seat. Make sure we got the low screen so you're going to get a nice view, right? After all, that is quite the view. So now I just got to go ahead and adjust the rotors. Oh, so I actually type right. Yeah, that's going to be these two. Because I hit the other ones that are on the welders downstairs. Alright, uh, let's actually select both of them. Breaking torque is going to be all the way up. And I think the torque I had about 500. And now the... I'm going to actually label this gun one rotor. Save that. And what was I saying? Oh yes, the gyroscope. So now I gotta find the gyroscope that's actually on this grid. This happens to be that one here out of the 2400 that are here. And I think the power was like 40% or something. Okay, and we're gonna rename this. Just so I know which one it is. Okay, now with a hotkey everything. Go groups. Uh, let's see. Gun one fire. Toggle block on. Then that. Oh yeah, we have to put a timer block on here, in here too. I totally forgot about that. Alright, uh, where should the timer block go? Oh, better yet. Let's, let's have a big giant flashing green light in front of us while we're firing a gun. What would be better than that? As soon as I can find the damn thing. I think I remember where these things are. What is that? Oh, blast doors. Well, let's see what I can do with those one day. Uh, why can I not find it? Because you're right there. Yeah, no, no. We gotta have that, that big green square right in front of our face. Okay. Uh, 
perfect. Then we can watch it blink too. Timer block. And of course, name this. And one. Maybe a one second delay. And the actions are going to be. Okay, hold on. I got I didn't label, label that wall there. I'll set this up off camera, but basically, it's going to be. It's going to be a repeating timer block. It's going to be toggling the on off on the welder and on the grinder. And so the welder will, will be on, the grinder will be off, and then I'll just basically switch them so they, they'll be vice versa. Okay, I have uh, everything all set up, ready to go. Everything's configured. Uh, the blueprint is in place. I haven't actually tested it yet, and we're going to do that on camera. I do have everything hotkeyed too. Uh, as you can see, it moves pretty smoothly. I'll probably loosen it up a little bit. Let's have a look here. There, a little base ship spinning like no tomorrow. So, uh, oh yeah, I do have to trigger it first. The timer block. Oh, something's going on here. We have a jam, do we? Okay, that's interesting. I thought they would work actually touching. Hmm. Well, time for another rotor, I guess. Or is it? I just realized the gun, the, the grinder's on and so is the welder. So I'm wondering if it's just not doing anything. Let's turn the welder off, see what happens, shall we? Nothing. So clearly that is the case. So let me put this on rotors so and we can get in just a little bit more. Okay, here I am a couple of, uh, actually almost a week later. I took a bit of a break from this, had to rethink these gun ideas, but I have finally worked something out. I was having some issues with uh, things blowing up, things getting jammed. So what I've had to do is uh, the round itself is a space ball connected to a merge block. Uh, the merge block is connected to another merge block that is powered. The welder, as you can see, is turned on right now, and that's going to create, uh, build a projectile. I had to rework the back end of this chamber a little bit because, uh, A, things were actually connecting to blocks they weren't supposed to, and... They were also touching corners they weren't supposed to, and at the same time, two things are blowing up when they weren't supposed to. So I have had to do a bit of rework. As you can see, I got the welder on some rotors here, and that's just to pull it back to give it some room when it fires, and it's actually working pretty good. I had to get a couple, of, I think a three second delay on the actual firing of them, but as we can see, you can go to the camera here, we'll zoom in. Uh, there is a rotor lock on it, then it gives you a chance to move around you can see an old spent round there and just go ahead and fire it and off goes the rounds fire one we'll go move over here fire another one watch stuff blow up uh, there is going to be an issue too with possibly the barrel moving when a round is being fired but uh, javelin's with me and suggested that maybe i set it to automatically lock or i've even thought about possibly setting up a, a manual default mode but an also a p option of an automatic fire mode but anyways uh yeah um javelin's just spawning something in right now and we'll see I'm what already done. you're already Project done double here. all right double the rito let's uh take the number four gun here and see what, what kind of damage we can do oh hop in the seat camera mode unlock the rotors and where this is gonna be there we go all right. Let's see if I can maneuver that into position. Oh. Looks like the sides are going to be the most heavily armored, technically. So let's move that into position and see what kind of damage this thing does. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Helps if I hit A instead of Q. All right. Rounds are coming in. All right. Hang on. Five meters per second. Slowing down. There we go. Let's make this a sitting duck and see what happens. 
Yeah. Wow. I'm, gonna, I'm getting a lot gonna, of shake on the camera. <laughs> getting a lot of shake on this. Oh, I see explosions already. What's going on? I'm seeing them disappear just before they hit the, your ship. All right, there's a big hole right there. Yeah, there are holes where it shouldn't be. Let's see if it actually hit Javelin. Your ship is actually moving too. Every, every, every time it launches, it kind of just... Yeah, well, that, well, that's the thing though. I, that's kind of weird because it's supposed to be unlocking the projectile first before it fires it, but maybe it's sort of working both ways. Oh, something blew up oh. there. All right, let's shut that off. Let's get into the big guns here. Let's get up to the, up to the captain's seat. All right. Uh, where was... Hmm. Ah, that's the right camera view. No, it's not. Is it? No, there it is. All right, this thing's a, an absolute boat. How far away is that thing? Okay, pretty far. Okay. Which? Me or you? No, nah, just to checking out the distance between the um, double Dorito and the um, ship. And it's, right. it's far enough to where... Uh, I'm actually lining up the main guns. I just want to make sure turrets don't destroy anything. Mm. Oh, main guns are firing. And I was rotating and hit the wrong button at the same time. Oh, wow, there's like a whole bunch of them coming. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, it's just everywhere. Carpet bombing in space. <laughs> oh, and I just lost a cannon. Rotating <laughs> too fast. Yeah, I thought about actually trying to get like an automatic welding system in here. Let's turn this off for a second here so I can actually get a better shot because I'm aiming a little high. Yeah, I'm just missing good. Okay, that hit. That's a terrible All right, wreck. here we go. Freaking thrusters. Holy crap. Oh, I got right. pushed in. No, get out. Here they come. <laughs> oh, we have a better idea. Uh, that ship is far. Oh, away. yeah. I'm going to ship, <laughs> ship really wants to rotate when I do this. I'm just going to graciously donate this to the space pirates and let's see. Let's see what happens here. Oh, jeez. It's just getting wrecked. Whee! So is my ship. Running, oh, running wow. away. Oh, those are your tur your turrets trying to take out the the projectiles. Mm-hmm. Well, I donated to space parts, so let's see uh, if they appreciate my uh, generous donation. Uh, I'm gonna God. run away now. Hide behind <laughs> the pirate ship. Here we are. I gotta see how much damage this is done to my ship. Wow, just devastation. Oh, on the outside it seems to be okay. Yeah, I don't see it. aesthetically the outside's okay. Oh, where's the damage? I don't know. I saw something blow up. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Number three's out. You don't want to hear. Number three's out, but it's still functional. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I was yeah, I was a... I was rotating when I fired, so the round went down and hit the the wall. Well, there's your problem. Yeah. I have thought about getting like a self repairing system in here, but do you know how much work that would be? Yeah, but at the same time, I kind of like, if anything, have it like maybe near the cannons because this may or may not be a recurring thing. Well, yeah, see, that's the thing though. It's like if I have the, wel the, the welders here, like in between the barrels because of the range on the welders, I could get enough in here to self repair these. But at the same time, too. Caution should be used when firing the main guns. Mm. Yeah. All right, yeah, but, that's a that's a good measure too. Just slap a sticker. Yep. Yeah. Use it. <laughs> use your own risk. Damage is not res <laughs> dom damage is not my responsibility. <laughs> We're not liable uh, for any damages. Uh, oh wow. Oh, party. One of your gyroscopes are over here, or somebody's. Oh. Probably mine. <laughs> yeah. Is Act it tan? Oh no, it's from the base ship. It's white. Oh. Anyway, I think I think that's gonna end it for this episode. Uh, it's definitely quite an interesting project. It could be a little more maneuverable, but if you want to add a couple more thousand gyroscopes in the main room there, you can go right ahead. Uh, you will find this on the Steam Workshop. I'm sure Javelin's gonna be downloading it and 
putting it up to throw it up on the server to raise hell just for the hell of it. Oh yeah, this will be <laughs> this will be a wonderful addition to our uh, space station. Oh yeah. Anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.